Hey everybody, Chad here with Spots Outdoors and Survival. Just back with uh, another little preparedness tip. In this video here, we're going to talk about uh, improvised compasses for escape and evasion, um, survival, you're lost in the woods, you have been illegally detained. Um, you think of the scenario. So, what I have here today is two, see if I can get the camera to focus on here, two tiny, tiny magnets. <clears throat> Excuse me. And on one magnet, as you can see here, I have painted the end red. Now, what I used to paint the end, the end of it red is just find your girlfriend, your wife, Hell, even your red nail polish works great. Probably something that you have laying around somewhere. Paint the tip that is going to be facing north on one magnet, not both. We have two here. As you can see, they're very strong. Uh, I mean, you can drop one. And they are rare earth magnets, N50. Um, one eighth of an inch by a quarter of an inch cylindrical and basically after you obtain the magnets you would find a piece of string and you can get that from the end of your shemag, your blue jeans, your t-shirt, uh, braided non-mono fishing line, Kevlar line. Um, Kevlar line would be something that you would probably already have in your escape and evasion kit and I'll do a little video on that at another time to explain its uses and basically once you obtain your piece of string this is from my shemag this part here can be a little tricky so you're going to want to take the the non end non red end of one magnet and you're going to put it your string in between it's kind of hard to see that just right on the top of the other magnet and you're going to want to hold it in place as close to the middle as possible while you take your second magnet and put it on top now what that's going to create is a way that you can hang those magnets as they're stuck together and where this comes in handy is is these two tiny magnets can fit you can hide this virtually anywhere I mean you you think of the places you could hide two tiny magnets and basically if you're lost in the woods you are in an emergency situation where you need to find direction to get yourself to safety as you can see the red end the non red end um, you would put this together uh, very quickly and you can get a general sense of direction, north, south, east, west, and, and it is pretty accurate. Um, right now it's facing north and south. I have a Sunto wrist compass here. And as you can see, it is facing the same direction as our improvised compass. So it, it works totally fine. And as I say, this would hopefully be part of a escape and evasion kit or survival kit that you would keep on your person all the time. And this would allow you to be able to get general direction pretty much the majority of the places you would find yourself. I hope this somebody finds this handy today and uh, hopefully everybody's doing well, enjoying the, the weather as it gets a little better, a little sunnier, and stay dangerous. I'm out.